Because when we graduated in 2015, matter of fact, before we graduated, the first time we were on set, um, which was 2013, we had been studying and kind of getting into more of the advanced film classes, and Mm -hmm. we were studying different positions. And we've never actually been on like a real, like a a, real set. We say a real set. We've been on sets like at our college and all that. Like this set we had. We say real. It's like legit a big budget. Mm -hmm. together so the security security, first thing we ever did Mm -hmm. jurassic world jurassic matter of fact uh it's just a magical experience it was it It was was, i'm on the website (laughs) i'm on the website it's a i'm in a pink shirt it was like it's just like a quick whoo but we are background Mm -hmm. extras whatever position you want to call that a background artist background artist Mm-hmm. Um, and we background we, artists are very the first necessary. one was Jurassic World yeah and I think you have a list pulled up here just yeah uh, uh, so like the... before he names off this list we decided to learn more about the industry by going straight to it and just becoming background extras you know we never were a PA on set except for smaller things but being an extra is what led us to meet more people mm-hmm. to see how the flow works on set the, yeah. the wording the lingo. that's really why we wanted to get on because we're we, in we, film school we, and we're like oh we, we keep talking about all this but what's it actually look like what's it feel like and the, for it to be jurassic world where you walk on and you feel like you're in a theme park oh my gosh they had this huge set huge set it took them six months to build and 800 extras lot. In the parking lot of Six Flags in New Orleans, this park was closed because of Katrina, but they had enough space to build this world. And, and have enough parking. And have <laughs> enough parking. It was a great experience because it, sh- it was like our introduction to the film industry, and Chris Pratt came with the, the other lady. I forgot her name. He came and spoke to all the extras. And we're like, knows. hey, it's great for y'all to be here. While we were on set, I gave him a high five. It was like, ah, oh, this is awesome, Great, man. great set. This is dope. And along the way, just uh, we've been on so many other sets that are good, that are great, that are not so great, all in between. But we got to For learn. For the first experience to be, like, Jurassic amazing. World. I remember we did we were doing a take, uh, like, at the beginning when everybody was first there. Mm-hmm. And they're shooting on film. And the Happy song started playing because they had the oh PA system. Oh, my gosh. And yeah. then they started playing happy. Everybody was so happy <laughs> dancing, <laughs> singing in this heat. <laughs> right. So we'll talk more about other times on set in other, other, in, other, in other, other things. Podcasts. But just go ahead and name off a few of the things. Okay, we'll, so here's we'll the list. Add on. Um, we had to make a list. <laughs> Jurassic World, Selma, Insurgent, um, Allegiant, Part 1, Ride Along 2, uh, Myers Christmas, all Eyes on Me, Baby Driver. Mm-hmm. There's a whole lot more, too. There's um, Vampire Diaries. Vampire Diaries. On there. He worked on uh, 24 Legacy. Yeah, 24 Legacy. Oh, uh, Baywatch. Yes, Baywatch. Baywatch. Oh, we stayed in the car for Baywatch. Yeah. <laughs> we, we literally just not getting our foot into the door in the industry, and they're like, hey, they're shooting Baywatch in Tybee, so, on Tybee, yeah, Tybee Island, Savannah, Georgia. And we didn't have a place to stay, so we were like, we're going to rough it in the car. Mm-hmm. Got to be on the beach. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, you said beach. Beach. <laughs> beach. Beach. We got to be on the beach for hours and hours. Oh, that's when I set. learned that black people can sunburn. Because <laughs> we were outside for so long. And that was my first time ever being a stand-in. <laughs> It was my first time. Baywatch. So you will not guess who was he was a stand-in for. Oh and my gosh! I he got the job right like, in front of me. Wait, just I look first off stole before it. he says it. I didn't steal stole anything. It, it was I was at the right place at the right time. Hey, I just happened to be eating at that time. That whatever. I'll let you tell it, but I will say I look nothing like who I was my <laughs> the stand-in for. I look nothing. So, the story goes: we're on the set of Baywatch. Mm-hmm. We're eating breakfast. Baywatch with Zac Efron with Zac the Efron Rock with the Rock. Dwayne Johnson. 2017. And other oh, actors. we actually met some triplets. Yeah. Side note. That's a side note. But back to the story. So we're on the set of Baywatch. We're eating breakfast. Mm-hmm. Um, they they see this black dude who's pretty dark, kind of short. Yeah, a little bit shorter than that. So. But he's a little bit shorter than the actor that they need. So mm-hmm. they're like, oh, you look like the actor, but you're too right. short. So they find some other black guys. 
They, were, <laughs> they literally like turned and like, who's the nearest black people? Yeah, like who's the, and that was us. So you're standing there. Us, we're standing there. I'm sitting there eating my food. Just I had eggs because I was eating mm-hmm. a lot of eggs. And, and he had food in his mouth. And they were like, mouth. they came up and asked, "All right, so which one of y'all want to be a stand-in for Hannibal Barres?" And I was like, "I will." And I was like, Bruh. "And he had food <laughs> in his mouth." See. So he got to be a stand-in for Hannibal Barres. Hannibal, Bar- look at the skin tone first. <laughs> look at the pull up a picture of Hannibal Barres. So I'm y'all sure he see. looked out and like. Right. I'm sure he looked at all the other standings like, "Yep, that's the rock standing. That's, stand-in. The, that's right. this standing." That who is this that? guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they they threw a shirt on like he had on on me, and it's just all big, and I'm just standing here like. Hmm. And so I'm thinking like, how is this gonna be? Because now I get to go from the extra tent. To the main actors, he got to eat. Every, I got to eat with uh, just the, it was a see. I didn't sit with him, but I saw the Rock's cousin, who's the stunt double. I was like, man, this hey, dude. he looks exactly like him. And he's like the pebble, <laughs> the pebble. <laughs> and the Rock is the Rock, the Rock, <laughs> the Rock. Did you smell? Yeah. So I got the to Rock's stand next cooking. to the Rock. And it was super cool. I got I, to see you from a distance. That's yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, this was our exchange, all right? Because I did, you know, they're like, don't set, start a conversation, this, blah, 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 whatever. And I was like, standing there and just looking like, it's the freaking rock. I used to play with you on <laughs> WWE SmackDown. This is, yo, I used to see you with the eyebrow and the, yo. And so no, I'm right? just sitting there looking like, I want to say something, but I know, just let me just stand, look cool. Look try cool, try huh? to look cool, and then he's just like, Barres, yeah. he walks up. Hey, buddy. He's like, hey, how you doing? And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of uh, when we were on the set of Ride Along too, and like uh, Ice Cube and Kevin Hart were doing a scene, like walking down the stairs, and mm-hmm. they had to keep resetting, going up and down them stairs. I was like, dang, that's a lot of stairs. They gotta keep resetting. Uh-huh. <laughs> I remember I was on the stairs when they were doing that scene. And I've always like, dang, this is Ice Cube right here. Kevin Hart, Ice Cube, they right here. <laughs> and like, so I just don't say anything because we're all at work. Like, right. we've been doing extra work for years at this point. And it's we like, maxed it out at probably like three or four years because we had to cut it off. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we at this point it's like, okay, we get it. We're here to work. We just do our thing, and we leave. So mm-hmm. I'm while they're resetting after going down the stairs. Cut is called. They're resetting, coming back up. I'm just looking at them like it's, it's cool. Okay, yeah, I've been doing this, but you know, I'm right here, they're right there. Mm-hmm. Ice Cube is looking at me while he walks up the stairs, and this is the moment that one of the moments where I felt kind of starstruck. <laughs> this is all he said to me. He was just like, "What's up, homie?" Yo, <laughs> classic. But said it in the Ice Cube tone, you in know, the I'm not ice, in the Ice, ice Cube it. voice, right? Just, I just said. What's up? <laughs> but in my inside me, I was like, oh, <laughs> so, man, I know. I know it. it so being a stand in for Hannibal Barres, going back to that, just to tell you, because it was just weird, <laughs> kind of like what you expect. I was like, what you, was, oh, what do you say that? Kind of like what do you expect? What, what were you expecting? I, I was expecting like he probably gonna look at me like, who is this dude? They got this guy looking, but he's just looking, you know, just that awkward. You could tell he was thinking stuff like, and we That'd didn't say cool. much to each other because I'm like, I feel weird. <laughs> I don't look like <laughs> you. It was weird. <laughs> it was super cool because I got to, that was the first time I got to read lines with actors and stuff and like oh, do it in front of the director. Feel. That's a different feel. They're like, all right, give it. Th- that was new for me mm-hmm. right at that point in time. And so working, we worked on that. We worked on so many other things. Yeah, the first time I had a speaking them. role was on ambition ambition ambitions mm-hmm. shout out to thomas dupont for hooking us up thomas with that, dupont. Hooking us hooking me up with thomas it. dupont is actually uh when we first auditioned for it, which we probably will talk about a little later for mm-hmm. black lightning thomas dupont thank you sir thank you he mm-hmm. is the one who him jennifer badger mm-hmm. they got from black lightning thank you all for your uh, support and yes. for trusting in us in that role i know there's so many other performers and people that you guys like deal with but for that moment thank you guys Mm -hmm. yes and so let's talk about ambitions Mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about black lightning oh yeah we also have a few other things too that Mm -hmm. we were on like uh you helped a kid with oh yeah yeah yeah. so many things we're just forgetful like you said we're trying to trying to remember (laughs) so yes 
Yes. Okay. Before we talk about ambitions, because there's a story I want to share that to teach that um, that thing that Daddy taught of like being able to handle somebody yelling at you. It really played into uh, that set. That into that set. Yeah, that day. I think for I remember real. you told me about it. But uh, I trained this kid named uh, Fergie. Fergie, incredible actor. Incredible actor. This kid, I saw kid. him. I'm like, this kid is incredible. Can't this he sing too? Is lit and you know he can sing and play guitar. Sing. Yeah. He's on Broadway. He is incredible. Um, we were teaching him. Well, I was. He also came along, but I was uh, hired to teach him to roller skate for a TV show called The Resident because mm-hmm. he was playing uh, one of the. Oh yeah, some characters. other shows we were on the quad. The quad, yeah. You can see me doing back. Oh, all eyes on, on me. The quad, all eyes on that me. That was fun. Yeah, we got to go to a Tupac and Biggie concert. We've heard it multiple yo. times, and we got like, paid for the it. Dude <laughs> who looked like Tupac and dude who looked like Biggie were on, on stage, stage at the same time. And then Suge Knight had his own little VIP yeah, he section. Show sure did something yeah. crazy. I don't know if we allowed to say this, but this is what we witnessed behind nah, the let's, scenes. Let's just leave it. It was crazy. <laughs> I <didn't> say that. <laughs> it was so fun, though. Like, everybody was lit the whole time. Everybody oh, remember put their it. emotions and all the takes. Because we're listening to Biggie, Tupac. Bro, remember this? Remember that day on the set of Insurgent? And we had, oh, I this remember is, that This day. is beautiful. This, this is, is beautiful. beautiful. How many this days? Well, we were on set for like a week and a weeks. half already. We were on set weeks? for weeks. Yeah, yeah weeks. and this is something that we did near the end of our time on uh, the set of Insurgent. We were Dauntless Rebels. Dauntless don't Rebels. Rebel. Hey, all our oh, other Dauntless watching. Rebels that were out there. Dauntless. Shout out to y'all. Dauntless, Dauntless AF. Dauntless AF. Remember, remember you y'all. Guys. We remember. Oh, you know, remember. you know what's funny about before we got on the movie? I remember we... We actually went to uh, run in American Ninja Warrior. Mm, American Ninja Warrior. We keep on just bouncing back and forth. I know, because like we said, we okay. so much to remember. That's why we're okay. making this, so we okay. can remember talk, ourselves. Right? So, so American Ninja that, Warrior. We'll I only brought that up. I'm not going to talk about it too much. But American Ninja Warrior, uh, we went to visit our uncle in uh, Dallas, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember that's around the time that the first Divergent movie came oh, out. Oh, Art. And he was in Austin. Sorry. Austin. Correction. Yeah, he was in Austin. We did the American Ninja Warrior in Dallas, but mm-hmm. we stayed with him in Austin. And while we were there, we watched the movie Divergent. Yep. And I remember watching the movie being like, man, if I was in this movie, I'd, I'd be a Dauntless be, Rebel. I'd be a Dauntless. Right. Yeah. I'd be Dauntless. And right. then next year, we're freaking Dauntless <laughs> Rebels. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, from a thought. Like, that would be really cool. And that was a cool experience because we met a lot of uh, people that we are still kind of in contact with. Not really, but we got to really meet people. Still in the love you guys. Industry. You guys were great, especially about this day we're about to talk about. Right. Y'all remember. This day on set, you know, you had uh, Haley. What's her name? Shay, whatever her name is. I'm sorry. I'm just, there's a computer here. I'm just lazy. <laughs> I got a computer it here, was, too. Um, Shaylee Woodley. Theo James. Shaylee Wood. Yep. Shaylee. Theo Are James. we saying Shaylee? I don't think we should. I know I Theo James, Yo. man. People was uh, <laughs> We had just this incredible experience on the set of Insurgent. It was crazy because it was us two in a room. A room. We got together. He was like, hey, want me to bring my beer and bow tomorrow? We actually trained with him in Capoeira one day. Like It was after set. Of uh-huh. course, there's all these extras there, people that do similar mm-hmm. things. He did martial arts, and we were like, hey, man, we, we want to learn some Angola Capoeira, so... He's like, I'll bring my beer and bow next time. And he brought his beer and bow, which is So we start off and we're doing our thing. We're Joe going, which is to play in Capoeira with each other. Uh-huh. It's just it, me and him. And, and then our homie the Scythe and his brother, they come up. And, and then these two white girls, Caitlin and Sierra, Sierra Caitlin and Sierra, up. they are really good at Capoeira. Yo, these white girls just started doing Capoeira with us. The next thing we know, it's like we see like some white dudes, like and some other people, they take empty water jugs, oh. the big plastic ones Sit that you take and fill with water. 
they flipped it over and had some sticks and were using it as, as drums. drums. So they we had beer and bow. We had some handmade drums. We had people singing, clapping, clapping. It's turned into this whole dance party in the is, summer in the heat. middle of the heat. It ended up being it felt like seventy people were out there. No, it was, it was a lot. Three it hours was, was straight. Three hours, three hours straight. Even the like the actors were walking by, like, "What are What's the actors doing there? over there?" They were because they're they had their trailers like farther mm-hmm. away and you like know, the, the main <laughs> actors do their thing and the extras yeah, extras was is over like here. over there and yeah. like we knew this would be like the last day for all of us to it was see each other how we see each other incredible because it was just vibrant tribal energy just in the sun nobody was taking water breaks we were getting fed by the energy that we were giving and bringing uh, we all dressed people. up as dauntless and other factions and people we, all dancing. the factions so many people came dancing. together we were dancing and dancing Unity. and having a good time singing let other people lead we followed like it was it, it was one by of the, the best experience. Oh man, by set. the end of it, I remember seeing everybody in the tent. Everybody looked mellowed and chilled Chill, out. Happy. Happy. If you smiling. ever want to bring some good energy and unity on set, just have a dance break. Dance break. Dan- even if it's five minutes, like it makes such a difference. Mm-hmm.